Alright guys, how's it going? Today we'll have a little bit of a catch-up session covering all the WWE 2K16 news that was announced over the past week while I've been away. So we're going to dive straight in with this week's roster updates as we have another 80 names now confirmed for the game. They include Alicia Fox, Bam Bam Bigelow, Big Show, Cameron, Cesaro, Darren Young, DDP, Dolph Ziggler, Finley, Kevin Nash, Layla, Lex Luger, The Miz, Naomi, Randy Orton, Sheamus, Titus O'Neil and Tyson Kidd. So there's a few surprise additions as we've got more of last year's DLC included which is great to see. Then there's Alicia Fox who was in promos last year but missed the cut. And finally you have one of my favourite divas in Layla who makes the cut despite her recent retirement so it's really cool to see that she's still being included. As we move on, we have a few new screenshots to accompany this week's roster reveal, including Randy Orton, Cesaro, Titus O'Neil, Darren Young, Dolph Ziggler, Tyson Kidd and Sheamus, whose new look looks awesome in my opinion, especially when you zoom in on the beard, but I'll leave a link to all the high-res versions of these in the video description so you can check them out, along with links to the tag team entrances for both Cesaro and Kidd and the newly announced Ford villains Adam English and Simon Gotch, as IGN have just released their entrances for both of those. Up next, we have a short story that has been making the rounds in regards to Roman Reigns, who was apparently supposed to be the cover star for 2K16, however it was later decided that Stone Cold would have a better appeal and more marketability, especially for older fans, with Stone Cold revealing last week that it was actually Vince McMahon himself that called him to personally ask if he'd be on the cover for 2K16. The next piece of news comes out of an interview by Jewel Shockers with executive producer Mark Little, and I'll leave a link to that in the video description, as Mark confirmed that there will be no story designer or custom music available in 2K16. The reason buying no music is set to be down to limitations with the next gen consoles, as there's currently no ability to rip tracks to them like there was on the PS3 and 360. Meanwhile, the reason buying story designer's absence is set to just be a case of time restraints, as Mark said that they do want to bring it back, but when they do, they want to focus on it and they don't just want it to be something that's been thrown together quickly. As we switch to some creation suite news, the first piece of news is in regards to the logo importer that was brought in last year, as not only does this return, but 2K have added a new feature that allows players to import a photo to use on a superstar's face that now has the added ability of marking out certain areas of the face, such as the eyes, the nose and mouth, and that will then help easily shift the photo into the right position so that it fits properly and there's no awkward overlapping or misaligned textures. In this demo video released by 2K Dev, the example showed Stephen Amell, who teamed with Neville at SummerSlam to take on Stardust and King Barrett, with the video going on to show a more complete version of Stephen as the Arrow with his green hood and a small mask. Sticking with the creation suite, but switching to Create Diva, which also returns this year, the 2K Dev account has released this new image of an example diva that they created, which gives you an example of how custom divas will look with one of the new hairstyles, makeup, lipstick and a bandana. Then following that, we've also got this short video that shows off a really cool new hair dye feature that allows players to colour in the hair of a creation using a cursor that they can move around the hair and then press A to dye that part the colour that they've chosen. So it's a really cool new addition that I can see coming in really handy, especially for diva creators if you want to update Paige and give her a blue hair dye, or Natalia with the pink streaks, or even people creating the likes of Jeff Hardy where you can now give him proper rainbow hair. Sticking with creations, and last night seeing the 2K dev account release some of the best news yet, with the confirmation that WWE 2K16 will feature 100 creation slots for created superstars instead of the 25 that were seen in 2K15. Finally, in the last piece of news this week, AB Games in Australia have confirmed a Stone Cold Steve Austin Collector's Edition that will be available in both Australia and the UK, and that features the game itself, a special Stone Cold Steve Austin metal case, a Stone Cold Pop vinyl figure, and this year's Season Pass, which this year doesn't mention 2K Showcase, so hopefully after a lot of complaints last year, this year's Season Pass includes all DLC. Now, as I mentioned, this is only for people in Australia or the UK, but there is a separate Steelbook edition available in Germany via Amazon. However, 2K have confirmed via Twitter that there'll surprisingly be no collector's edition available in the US this year. Anyway guys, that is all of this week's news wrapped up. Let me know your thoughts on everything that I've covered in the comments, and stay tuned for more WWE 2K16 news as it breaks. But until then, I'll catch you later.